Yeah, it's good, man. Um, I'm just trying to enjoy it, you know, and not worry about, you know, what's actually at stake here, right? This is a super, super big uh, opportunity, super big scene here. Uh, so I'm just really just trying to have fun with it and just, you know, have fun with the whole experience, you know, the, all the hard work's done, you know, just go out there and do what I do, you know, I'll be fine. How do you prep for a guy that we haven't seen fight in three years? How do you get ready for this? We just, we, our strategy is we just looked at his, uh, his most recent uh, fights, you know, um, and we're just getting prepared, prepared for him to have not skipped a beat. You know, we're ready for the best Korean zombie. We want to fight the best Korean zombie. What do you need to talk about what's at stake? What do you think is at stake here for you? Because since he's been out, he's not in the rankings, but of course he's definitely a, a main guy as well. So what, what do you think? Guys? Right, in my head, I think he's probably a top five guy. You know what I mean? Um, he was in the top five when he uh, left for military leave. Um, so, I mean, I think even uh, a win over him probably moves me up the ranks a little bit. Um, and I don't think about losing. And you talk about your division, man. It's a fun division right now, man. A lot of talented guys. What do you think this does earn you? Where do you think you should be next if you pick up a win? Uh, after picking up a win here, realistically, I would like to fight Max Holloway. He's got, uh, I've got a win over him, and he's got the interim belt, man. That's the, that's the reason why I signed up to be in the UFC, is to be a world champion.